Assalamualaikum and selamat sejahtera semua. So, previous video, we already learned on how you want to draw the products, how you want to identify the major and minor products. For this video, we will continue on the mechanism. So, let's revise first what is reactions and what is mechanism. So, reaction is just like, okay, you have butene and then we add BCL2 and then you have UV for the halogenation reactions and then you classify primary, secondary, secondary, primary and then you know that you will have your major and minor products. So how you want to determine your major and minor depends on the type of carbon. Okay. So major will be at your uh, stable carbon which is secondary as compared to the primary so for the minor your CL will attach to your primary carbon all right so this is reactions okay so meaning that you number you have your starting materials and then you have your reagents okay this is your reagents this is your starting materials and then you have your reagents and then you have your conditions okay and then you have your products so this is reaction okay reactions are we call as balance uh, chemical equations so if balance you can apply with ACL all right so this is reactions at the point equations all right so right now what is mechanism Mechanism describe the process that occur when your starting materials react with, with your reagents and what happened, okay, the process, whether the CL attack your starting materials or your starting material will attack your CL. Okay, so it tells you the process on how you want to produce your products. So the process is mechanism. Equation is the reactions or balanced chemical equations. Okay, so this is your first mechanism. Okay, we known as substitutions, reactions. Okay, kenapa substitutions? Okay, so yang macam saya terangkan kat awak, you ada CH4 for example, and then guna UV. So your products adalah CH3Cl plus dengan HCl. Kenapa nama dia substitutions? Sebab you substitute one mole, sorry, one atoms of hydrogens. Okay, you substitute dengan one atom of Cl. So, dia tiada uh, perbezaan daripada segi bilangan bonding. Okay, originally carbon awal ada empat bonding. Okay, bila you dapat products, Okay, produk awak juga masih lagi ada bonding yang sama. Tiada perubahan. Kalau dekat sini ada empat sigma bond, you punya produk pun you ada empat sigma bond. So, tiada perubahan daripada segi bilangan bonding. So, yang berubah adalah satu hydrogen is substituted by the one atom of Cl. So, that's why this reaction is known as substitution reaction. Okay, kenapa nama dia free radical? Sebab the Cl atom will turn to radical atom and then barulah dia akan substitute pada kawasan ini. Okay, pada this atom. So, yang disubstitutkan bukanlah Cl2 tapi yang kita substitutkan adalah Cl radical. Sebab tu nama dia free radical substitutions reactions. So the reaction consists of three uh, process which is the first one is the initiation step. The second one is the propagation step and the third one is the termination step. Initiation step is the process of producing the free radical. Free radical produce uh, will initiate the uh, reactions. 
right? And then we'll proceed to the second step, which is the propagation step. So in this process, the hydrogen atom will be substituted with your halogen radicals, all right? So and then in this step, it can continuously until you get your final products. Okay, so when you get your final products, and then we will continue with the determination step. So this is how you want to stop the reactions. So uh, we will look on the process or the mechanism. All right, so let's say this is your compound. You have propane. So the first thing you have to identify the type of carbon. Okay, so if you're still not clear, you can refer to the previous video. So you have two types of carbon. So meaning that you can have two products. One at your secondary carbon and then the second one at your primary carbon. Okay, secondary will be your major. Primary will be your minor. And don't forget plus with your byproducts okay so for your initiation step okay if your question doesn't ask whether the mechanism is for the major or the minor products so always do for your major product okay because the major product is the main products that produced by this reaction let's start with the initiation step since this is free radical substitution reactions, so for the first step, you have to produce free radical substance from your Br2 molecule. Alright, so first step is the Br2, okay, with UV, okay, will produce a, sorry, two radicals atoms. Alright, so the UV will irradiate your Br2 molecule. Okay, so the bond between Br2 molecule will broken down and producing two radicals at them. So this is the first process. So for your information, the radical species is a very highly reactive species. So for butane, sorry, for propane, which is an alkene, it is a stable compound because there is no unsaturated bonding. So everything is saturated. So everything is very stable. So that's why we will need a radical species to disturb or to disrupt the stability of alkene. Okay, so in this case, is propane. So the second step is the propagation step. So you will have your alkene and will react with your Br radical. So what happened? So referring to your major products, so the Br will be substituted at the second carbon. Okay, so maksudnya dekat sini lah. Alright, alright. So this one. Okay, this carbon. So, apa yang boleh buat, you boleh tarik satu hydrogen atom untuk keluar. Okay, sorry, saya ingat sikit supaya boleh nampak. Okay, so ingat dia akan bertukar tempat. Okay, so sekarang hydrogen dekat sini, so dia akan tukar tempat dengan radical. So, right now, radical akan ada pada tempat hydrogen. So, hydrogen akan duduk pada tempat radical. Okay. So, itu adalah first step. So, tengok pada awak punya products. Belum dapat lagi BR dekat sini. So, meaning that you can continue lagi. Alright. So, continue macam mana? Salin je semula. And then plus dengan BR2 molecule. Why molecule? Because radical. Kalau jumpa dengan radicals, dia akan buat bonding. So, the reactions akan stop. Alright. So, sama juga tukar tempat. Okay, satu mol BR akan pergi dekat tempat radical. Radical akan attach balik dengan BR yang tadi. So, you akan dapat 
another BR radical. So the process R can berlaku continuously sampailah salah satunya akan jadi limiting reagents as I mentioned before okay, in the previous video. Okay, tapi for the theory, as long as you dah dapat your final product yang you nak, so we can stop the reactions. So, kalau you check dekat meja atas ni dalam kotak ni, sudah so jadi sama dah macam produk yang you produce kat sini. So, theoretically, we can stop the reactions. So, how? Okay, so kita akan proceed dengan termination step. So, I dah bagi tahu tadi, kalau radical berjumpa radical, so dia akan jadi termination step. So, step yang you boleh buat adalah list down ke radical yang ada. So, you ada satu adalah propyl radical. The second one radical yang you ada adalah BR radical. So, the process, okay, it may be, okay, ingat eh, ini adalah theoretical sahaja what we predicting uh, happen, okay, in the reactions. So, maybe the radical atoms, Okay, alkyl ni, dia akan bertemu dengan radical of BR. Maybe. Okay. So, what happen? Radical adalah kawasan yang kurang satu bonding. Dia kurang satu bonding. So, tempat yang dia kurang, dia akan bertemu. So, bonding akan terbentuk pada tempat yang kurang bonding. Alright. To make sure each of the compound tu capai octet dia. So, mungkin juga this alkyl molecule, dia akan bertemu dengan diri dia sendiri. So, yang ini radical di sini plus juga dengan radical yang sama. So, what happen? Dia akan attach together. Di mana? Di kawasan radical dia. Okay. So, and the last one, mungkin juga your BR atom bertemu dengan diri dia sendiri. Okay, so you akan dapat BR radical bertemu dengan BR radical. So what happen? Dia akan bentuk semula BR to molecule. So this process, the initiation, propagation and terminations is actually describe the process. Okay, dia nak illustrate. Okay, so you anggap ni beaker yang sengit-sengit ni. You anggap dia beaker. And then dalam ni saya letak Propin. Okay. Next, I letak uh, a few drops of BR2. And then you nampak the color changes. Okay. So, BR2 is actually yellow color. So, this one, uh, propane is a colorless. Okay. So, and then you nampak the jelly yellow. And after you wait for several minutes, And then you tengok dia jadi decolorize balik. So, process initiation, propagation and termination tu, it tells you kenapa dia jadi daripada uh, yellow dengan color ni bercampur jadi yellow and dia jadi decolorize balik. Alright? So, kenapa? So, this is reactions. So, bila semua BR2 molecule yang berwarna yellow ni dah digunakan So, warna dia akan hilang. So, maksudnya BR2 awak ni fully reacted. Okay. So, this is the process. Initiation process, termination process and propagation process. Apa yang berlaku and how you want to get your products. So, you can see here. Okay. Cerita yang sama. Uh, the same process. Okay. This is for uh, methane. Okay. So, you boleh um, refer to your notes. Ada juga dalam notes. Okay, untuk termination step yang paling mudah adalah nombor tiga ni. Okay, so tak kisah sama ada di CL ataupun BR, it can undergo the same termination step. Okay, the thing is, you can um, focus sikit dekat propagation product macam mana yang you nak produce. Because the initiation step, It doesn't matter, you guna apa pun, the initiation step is still the process of producing two radical. Tak kisah sama ada BR2 ataupun CL2. So, 
Okay, yang untuk main product ni pun saya dah sentuh before this. So, thank you.